Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. I'm Jerry from Newtown. Hey, Amber, plan my day. And good morning, Jerry from Newtown. Here's your forecast right now. It is cold. We've got some uh, single digit sub zero temperatures. In fact, down to about eight below in Newtown, but the wind speeds are strong. Westerly at 24 miles per hour. Here's your forecast through the day today in Newtown. Uh, we've got some cloud cover that will stick around. I think there are going to be some high clouds, so you'll still get some sun peeking through. Uh, we're talking windy conditions all day today. So these wind speeds are sticking around and temperatures only in the upper single digits around Newtown today. So it is going to be a cold day out there. Now the wind speeds are in the headlines for all of us today out of the west right now 20 and 30 miles per hour with the strongest down towards the southwest. So this is what's going to be sticking around for all of Monday. Right now the wind gusts uh, they've been around 20 30 miles per hour down to uh, up to 40 I should say down towards the southwest right now 36 in Dickinson. So do expect those wind gusts to stick around and as high as 50 this afternoon. So it is gonna be a windy day temperatures single digit sub zero mostly but you add that wind speed those really strong Strong winds and we've got some very dangerous wind chills this morning down to around 40 below. So the wind chill warning is down towards the southwest here. The advisory across the state 25 to 35 below for the rest of us. And so that's going to be uh, the problem until at least noon. At least the advisory and warning will last until noon. And so here are the wind speeds. Now notice that they're going to pick up a little bit. So they're averaging around 25, but by the middle of the day, we're going to be averaging around 30. So we've actually got some areas that could see wind gusts as high or wind speeds rather as high as 35. And at this time we could see wind gusts at 50. Now as we head to the afternoon, we'll start seeing these numbers taper just a little bit, but even around say dinner time or so, we're still talking sustained wind speeds of around 20. So we're keeping the wind chills low and I don't see the wind speeds really normalizing until we get into tomorrow morning only to pick back up again for Tuesday, but not as windy tomorrow. Here's the winter weather advisory. This is from nine to six. The reason why is because we've got that blowing snow problem. We've got reduced visibility. We've got drifting on the roadways. So here's the forecast. Notice the wind speed staying a factor all day today. Very isolated chances for some snow this afternoon. In fact, you have a better chance of getting missed than you do of actually getting hit by an isolated snow shower. So notice that as we head into tonight, here's 1030 tonight. Night, we'll get rid of that snow. The wind speeds are going to stay breezy and it's into Tuesday that we'll actually start to see the clouds push off towards the east there. So here's tomorrow morning uh, on Tuesday. We've got some sunshine tomorrow and in fact that sun will actually help to warm us up a little bit. So we're back into uh, in many cases the teens. So Dickinson, here's your three day forecast. We're back to the teens. And even though we're going to cool a little bit on Wednesday, the wind chills won't be nearly as low because we're not going to be as windy. Uh, Williston, here's your forecast as well. Windy conditions today, breezy tomorrow, and then teens for uh, Tuesday dropping a little bit on Wednesday. Here are the highs today. We're back into the upper single digits to around 10. So we're a little warmer than yesterday, of course. We're actually seeing positive numbers. And then as we head into tomorrow, of course, back to that warming trend, we'll start seeing those teens. But if you've been waiting for the warmth, I've got some good news for you. So here's the Minot seven day forecast. In fact, we're going to start seeing some twenties in the uh, forecast here. And in fact, it happens as early as the end of this week. Now, very small snow chances this week, hardly any for many, and then we'll keep the twenties into the weekend. Here's the Bismarck forecast. And as you can see there, the average high today is 34 and we're going to start seeing some upper twenties. I think there are some areas in the state that could actually see some thirties. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Wait yeah. a minute. The thirties. Yeah. And so, and don't forget to set your clock forward. Yes. Oh, when you yeah. go to bed on, on Saturday night. Spring Spring forward. Yeah, Get forward to the heat further wave. Further. A lot of signs year. of spring coming here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All Thanks, right. Amber. Thanks, Amber. When we return on Good Day Dakota, we'll have your top stories. Including a look at why the price of it per gallon.